Friends, let us see how a pediatric cataract may be managed. This is the right eye of an 8 years old boy and it has this kind of genular cataract. See the main incision. It is just behind the limbus and there is a, a ream of conjunctiva. And I am making these side ports with the keratome itself because when you make the side ports with the keratome and if you go just behind the limbus through the sclera the wounds are self-sealing even in pediatric cataracts our seniors have taught us that we should always put sutures to the main wound and to the side ports in case of pediatric cataracts it is not so if you make the incisions in this way there is no need to put any suture. You will see that. Now the anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. And now we are going to do capsulorexis. And now the anterior chamber is filled off with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now see what happens as I try to make a puncture onto the anterior capsule with this uterator forceps. This is one, two, three, four, five and I cannot pierce the anterior capsule with so many attempts. So I take a uh, needle cystitome, sharp needle cystitome and I make a puncture and raise a capsular tag. Now I hold this capsular tag and I balance the centrifugal force with the centripetal on and get this nice 5 millimeter rexus. And this is possible only with this uterata forceps or a micro rexus forceps. This is not possible with the needle cystitome. So in pediatric cataracts always, always use uh, forceps either a uterator forceps or a microrexis forceps or Haldipurgar's forceps, some kind of forceps so that you can balance the centripetal force of the uterator forceps or any kind of forceps with the centrifugal force of the capsule and now I am using only vacuum here to remove the lens mass that is it may be called phaco aspiration some visco is used to fill up the interior chamber and then I'm using this 23G Simco to remove the cortical lens matter we can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli as well this instrument works very well in all kinds of cases. And now I go through the right side port and remove the cortex from 130 o'clock. And now I remove some lens fibers sticking to the posterior capsule here and there. Go through the main incision and remove some lens cells as well as the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim and get a nice polishing and now visco again fills off the capsular bag and the anterior chamber in this case I am going to use a B cartridge so I am going to enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter. Since the wound is on the sclera, on the just behind the limbus, even this 3 millimeter wound will not require any suture. And here goes a uh, sensor wound. This is a beautiful lens from Janssen and Janssen. No financial interest, but this is a really good lens. The lens appears a bit bulky but it, once it is in the capsular bag it is very nice. 
and the optic of the intraocular lens has been covered all around by the anterior capsular rim ensuring beautiful centration of the optic of this intraocular lens and now I am irrigating out some visco from the capsular bag as well as from the anterior chamber friends this is a totally unedited recording and you are watching each and every step of the surgery you are not missing anything my aim is to encourage you to do pediatric cataracts any surgeon any competent cataract surgeon can do this we just have to calculate the intraocular lens power of the intraocular lens is in such a way that we don't get a refractive surprise and we should always undercorrect the uh, refractive error we should always keep the patient a bit hyper opic because there will be a myopic shape in course of time the side ports are closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the capsular bag the anterior chamber all are irrigated very nicely the anterior chamber is formed very well and then the integrity of all the wounds are checked with the help of a cotton taped Jensen bar and then the case is concluded thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and it will encourage you to do pediatric cataracts just do a nice biometry keep the target refraction proper and do it